You want to use the iris when you guys are shooting in low light conditions uh, or uh, very bright conditions. So if you're shooting, usually this is the case if you're shooting inside your house. You think you turn on all your lamps and you, you, you're going to be good? No. There's not a life, enough light going into the camera to, to get the, to the appropriate footage. So, this particular camera, where is it? Uh, function, there it is. I just hit the function button on here, and I have two choices, exposure and focus. First, we're going to talk about the exposure. The exposure is the iris, and how to control that. So, I have everything set to auto, not auto, but like regular baseline settings for this classroom right here. But I still feel the footage is a little bit on the dark side, so I should turn it up. Same case should be for you. But this doesn't apply if you're shooting out by the rotunda out there, by the big windows, because you've got a lot of light coming in there. So these settings will probably be okay out there because there's so much light coming through those windows. So let me put the uh, exposure on. As soon as I turn on the exposure, I see that it's highlighted, and I got a plus or minus. So I'm going to move this particular dial to the right. I'm going to go all the way to the right. And you can't see it right now. Let me turn this around. Can you see how bright that is? Can you see it back there? That, you don't want to crank up the exposure all the way up. That's opened up the iris in the camera all the way up so all it sucking in as much light as possible to give you a brighter image. You don't want to overdo it because that's called making uh, somebody hot. So if you make somebody hot, they're washed out, that footage is useless to you and you really can't use it and you shouldn't use it. So usually from the baseline, I usually go up one or two on the, uh, on the iris. So that's going to be for you to judge. Now, backing up again to where we were going over the functions of the camera and LCD brightness. Now, if you had the LCD brightness cranked up and then you're here trying to judge the exposure, you're obviously going to do something wrong because you're reading the brightness of the LCD to think that it's the, uh, the your brightness of your picture. So this is why you have to check to make sure that the brightness is set in the middle and not overexposed or underexposed so you get the right color footage. Okay, so any questions on uh, the iris and exposure? Both the same thing. On your, if you have a personal camera, it may be called something else. So this is why you have to check your manual to see what it's called. All right, the focus. Now in this particular camera, when I put the focus on, it says uh, it has a, a little uh, stick figure, and then it has mountains for the focus. Oops. So. I am going to go towards the mountains for the focus. Come on. I'm moving it to the right and it's not doing it. There it is, because it was already cranked up. So moving it towards the stick figure totally blurred everything out. And moving it towards the mountains focused it more. So, that's something that I'm going to assign to you to practice with your own particular camera. I want to see that you videotape something and you got a, the pictures okay. I want you to turn to focus so everything is blurred out and then I want you to come into focus. That way I know that you went into your menu and uh, you were able to find the, the button that controls the, the focus and do that. Now, uh, don't confuse this with a rack focus that you see in movies where if the camera is shooting over somebody's shoulder and you see somebody's face and the background is kind of blurred out and then all of a sudden you see the other person come into focus and the other person is blurred out, that's called a rack focus. You really, you can do this with one of these small cameras, but it's going to take a lot of practice because you've got little tiny buttons you're dealing with. 
The reason they call it a rack focus is because you've got a big rack knob on the front of the big cameras that you would totally turn. And you turn it to focus and unfocus. That does this. Kind of like an SLR. Kind of like what? SLR. On an SLR camera, yes. Uh, yes, um, that, that, that'd be the same thing. Um, so, with this little button, if I want to get that effect to whatever it is my idea is for, for, my, for my video, and that's one of the shots I want to do, I could do it, but it's going to be very hard to do with something like this. A little tiny, tiny buttons that I'm dealing with. 